Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at finding the derivative with respect to x of e to the 2x. Now, this is a little bit different. In our last video we figured out that d dx, or the derivative with respect to x of e to the x, is simply e to the x. We're going to take that, and now we're slightly different. We've got e to the 2x. Okay? Well, e to the 2x is kind of the same thing as e to the x. The only difference here is now we have a constant k, uh, which is equal to 2 at this point, um, in front. And I'm going to tell you just right away, this is going to be 2 times e to the 2x. Okay? We're going to look at why it is this right now. Okay? Well, we know about the chain rule from previous experience and from previous videos. Chain rule the derivative with respect to x of a composition f of g of x is equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Well, let's see if we can't express e to the 2x as a composition of two functions. If we call f of x e to the x and g of x what we replace just x with, that's going to be 2 times x. We can actually create this composition of functions. f of g of x is simply f of x, and everywhere we see x in the function f of x, we replace it with g of x, or 2x. So this is actually e to the 2x. So if we're looking for the derivative here now, we have a, comp we have a composition rule. We can use chain rule. So, what we're going to do is separate this out, and we've got f prime of g of x. Well, f prime, well, f prime is the derivative with respect to x of e to the x. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, or e, and now it's f prime of g of x, so instead of x, we've got 2 times x. And we're supposed to take this times as it says right here, g prime of x. Well, g prime of x is the derivative with respect to x of g, or of 2 times x. And the derivative of 2 times x is simply 2. So, there is our chain rule. That's the completion of the chain rule. And if we rewrite this as, instead of e to the 2x times 2, we get 2 times e the 2x. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, proving, um, kind of informally, we're going to have an informal proof here, that the derivative with respect to x of e to the k times x is in fact k times e to the kx. Like we had seen in a previous video, we know that the derivative with respect to x of e to the 2 times x is 2e to the 2x. Now we're going to expand this out to any general type of k where k is a constant. Okay. So, what we're looking at here is, first we have an exponential function. We have some powers going on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this, and I know that there's a multiplication happening. Okay, this is our goal. So, we're going to have the derivative with respect to x. And I'm going to change this back. I'm going to kind of devolve it into e to the x to the k power. Um, this is a legal operation because we have a multiplication of our exponents, so we can use the power of a power rule to decompose that um, into two separate functions here. Now, if we take the derivative with respect to x of some function like this, what we have is a general power rule. General power rule, or chain rule, states that we're going to differentiate the outside first, and then Take that times, well, differentiate the outside, leave the inside the same, uh, and then come back and differentiate the inside and take that times what we had just found. So, looking at this, um, what we've got here is we're going to have k times e to the x to the k, this constant, minus 1 power. Okay? So, there's the first piece, and we're going to take this times the derivative of what we have on the inside. Now on the inside, we've got e to the x, and the derivative with respect to x of e to the x is simply e to the x. 
or e to the 1 times x. Okay? So what we've got right here now is this constant value k times e to the x to the k minus 1 power times, and I'm going to change this around again, kind of very similar to what we did uh, in step 1 here, and make this times e to the x to the first power. Okay? It's, it's still a congruent statement. And now what I have is a constant k times a base of e to the x to the k minus 1 power times a base of e to the x to the first power. Well, here I have similar bases, and I'm multiplying them together. I can employ the product of two powers property and make this k times e to the x to the k minus 1 plus 1 power. And here we see that the minus 1 and the plus 1 are going to cancel each other out leaving us with k e to the x to the k power, or k times e to the k times x. And what do you know? We made it look just like the other side. Hi. In this video, we're looking at the derivative with respect to x of e to, some pow to the power of some function g of x. Okay? So this is a little bit different um, than what we've been looking at before um, because now in our exponent position we no longer have a constant times the x value, we actually have an entirely new function that isn't defined for us right here. But we can still figure this out. If you remember, I said that e to the x um, and e to the any type of power can be constructed as a composition and a composition rule leads to chain rule. So let's go about that right. It's going to be our first function, function here, our g of x function, well, we're going to make that whatever was in our exponent, and, well, that's just g of x. Great. So, here, f of x is now equal to e to the x, and our second function, g of x, is equal to, actually, g of x. So, what we have is a composition here of f of g of x. Okay? And if we're taking the derivative with respect to x of that, that's chain rule, which says that we need to differentiate the outside first. So we have f prime of g of x, and we're going to take it times whatever's on the inside, or g prime of x. So here now, we should be able to apply this right up here. Okay? f of x is e to the x. f prime of e to the x is simply e to the x, and g prime here is going to be equal to g prime of x, okay, or the derivative with respect to x of this function g. So, looking at this again, the derivative with respect to x of e to the gx is going to simply be this composition rule. Well, f prime of g of x, f prime is e to the x, so we're going to have f prime or e to the g of x times g prime of x. Okay. And there we have it. Now, we're going to look at this in some specific examples in the next few videos, and hopefully it'll start to make more sense. Okay.